Well, well, Matt joins us now alongside a five-foot African dwarf crocodile called Kick Croc. And, and you said that, um, that he's, he's, he's OK, he's quite placid at the moment. Yeah, he is, he is. Uh, but he was growling a minute ago. Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll let out a little growl and he'll, he'll sort of say his piece. But mm. um, at the moment, he's just ch pretty chilled. He's pretty, quite happy. pretty relaxed. He's shedding his skin, as you can see there, all that skin sort of flaking. Does that happen him. once a year or is that No, like it just consistently just keeps sort of flaking off. Um, so so tell, us, uh, tell us about but, him. Who so, is he? What is he? Um, so he's a West African uh, dwarf crocodile. So he's um, he's actually a, a um, captive bred croc, and um, the uh, the guys that uh, own him here in in uh, London rescue a lot of animals here. Right, so, I see. So um, he's he's one of those guys, and uh, they use him for TV and commercials. And what does he eat? Good. How often does he eat? So he only eats a couple of times a month. And is he hungry now? No. <laughs> he's, he's, not, <laughs> he's not, not too hungry. But um, a lot different to the uh, saltwater crocodiles that we're catching mm. over in Australia. You know, these guys only grow to 1.5, 2 metres. That's, that's the maximum, so they're not very big. So what are you dealing with then, and so, why are you doing it? So we, we are dealing with animals between, or crocodiles, between 15 to 18 foot. So some of the, well, they are the largest... <laughs> largest uh, crocodile in the world. Because you, you don't want to stress them out, do you? No, see? you can't stress them. If you stress them out too much, they build up lactic acid and then they'll uh, they'll die. So you've got to move quickly. Oh, really? Yeah, cover their heads, tape their heads up and... Uh, and you you have this sort of... You can read their... Not their thoughts or their minds, but you yeah. can you can read a crocodile, so you can tell. <laughs> it's, it's not something that anybody can really learn. It's just, have, I guess, it's experience. It is experience. I started when I was a young kid, like six years old, I was bringing home deadly brown snakes. Mum was not at all impressed. I'm so glad I wasn't they, your mother. <laughs> they, get, they, they got lost in the house, and so <laughs> yeah, mum, mum was not at all impressed. So it's, that's grown with me, and, and I've you know I've just worked with wildlife my whole my whole life, mm -hmm. and it comes with the experience of working out when the crocodile is going to be angry, how it's going to react, when it's going to try and strike out and have a crack at you. And not, not only you, but of course to, to to get it on the telly, you have to have a crew with you. So I'm assuming they must also. have have to be able to read a crocodile. Well, that's right. So behind uh, behind the camera is our cameraman, and they have to get their shots and get in quick. And they they know well, we, our crew have been with us for over ten years now, and they know we've got to move quick, mm. get in there and get the shot without getting uh, 